In this uh, video segment, uh, we are going to learn uh, something called the canonical forms. Uh, canonical forms is uh, just uh, another expression of a Boolean function. We have uh, learned uh, how to express Boolean function using algebraic expressions. Also, we have learned how to use a truth table, how to construct a truth table to express uh, the same Boolean function. And canonical form is uh, another form, and it allows a direct comparison between functions for equality. And uh, canonical form has a one-to-one -one correspondence to the rows in the truth table. We have uh, two canonical forms. Uh, one is called the uh, sum of mean terms, for short SOM. The other is called the product of a max terms, uh, POM. First, uh, we need to learn a few terminology. Uh, mean terms is uh, defined uh, as uh, n the terms uh, with every variable present uh, either in true or complement the form. Now that's the definition of uh, mean terms. Uh, for example, if we have a two variable function x and y, then mean terms are and the term with every variable present either true or complement form. So we have four possible combinations. Two variable x and y as and the term appears both in true form or one of the two is a complement form or both are complement form. So we have four mean terms for two variables. So in general, if we have n variables, we will have 2 to the n min terms. Similarly, max term is defined, but max term is or term. Same way, with every variable present, either true or complement form. So, for example, if we have two variables, x and y, x and y appears either true or complement form, but it's or term. So, we have four combinations here x and y in true form. Here x and y, one of them is in complemented form. Here another oh, a max term is uh, both the variables are in complemented form. So that is called the uh, max terms. So here is a comparison uh, max term and min terms. Uh, for two variables we have uh, four possible min terms. Uh, similarly we have uh, four possible max terms. Uh, the mean terms of variables are tied together with the end operation, so it's an end term, but max term variables are connected with the or operator, or terms. But index of a mean term or max term is defined similarly but differently. Here is the table, so index 0 for mean term is not x, not y. But index 0 for max term is uh, x or y. Index 1 for min term is uh, x is in complement form, y is not. In max term, y is in complemented form, x is not. So min, uh, index uh, in min term is defined uh, as uh, a decimal by considering each variable 1 or 0 at binary bit pattern. It's, if it's a true form, we consider it as a 1. If it's a complemented form, we consider it as a 0. So, for example, mean term for this one, since x is in a complemented form, we consider it as a bit 0. The y is in complemented form, it's bit 0. So binary 0, 0 is a decimal 0. So that's how we define mean term index. In this case, x is in true form, so we consider it as a bit 1 y is in complement form, we can say it's a bit 0. The so binary 1, 0 is decimal 2, so index of this mean term is a 2. But in max term, index uh, is similarly defined, but a true form we consider as a bit 0, and the complemented form we consider as a bit 1. So in this case, we have a bit 0, 1, Binary 0, 1 is a decimal 1. So, max term index of this term is a 1. Here, both are in a complement form. So, in max term case, we say consider as a bit 1 and bit 1. Binary 1, 1 is a 3. But in max term, 
those are true form we consider as one so binary one one is a three so this is a min term index of three standard order is that in min terms or max terms we put those variable in alphabetic order that is called a standard order so here is a for three variable case uh, the three variables a b c this is a valid max term since we have all variables present either in true form or complement form and then they are connected with the or operator so this is a max term but in this case uh, we have all variables appear that are connected with or term uh, based on that criteria it could be max term but this is not a standard order because uh, a and b are not in right order similarly this could be a mean term but is not a standard order so we will only take a standard standard order for max terms and min terms so this is a valid mean term all the variables appear either true or complemented form and they are connected with the end operator but in this case uh, this is not a max term because a b is not present now this cannot be a mean term because a is not present and so on so in in our discussion we only take a standard order for mean terms or max terms and the purpose of index uh, is uh, to know which variable is a true or complemented form remember how we uh, derive index for mean terms or max terms uh, so we can uh, get the idea which one is true or which variable is a uh, complement form by looking at indexer. So in the mean terms, given indexer, which is decimal number, if we convert it to binary bit pattern, then one in a bit pattern means a variable is a true form, zero in the bit pattern, and then corresponding variable is a in complemented form. In max term, we just uh, interpret the 0 and 1 uh, the other way around uh, given maximum index uh, which is a decimal number if we convert it to binary number then in the bit pattern 0 means that the corresponding variable is a true form 1 means uh, the corresponding variable is in complemented form so here is the examples of uh, indices uh, in three variable suppose we have a variable xyz then uh, min term 0 notation is a small m with a subscript 0 then the corresponding term is a uh, not x not y not z the max term 0 is, is uh, we use a capital m for notation and the subscript 0 is index 0 then the max term 0 is x or y or z another example min term 6 m sub 6 uh, is x y not z the max term m6 is a x not y not z or the together remember how we define the index uh, in min term true form is considered as a one true form is one and the complement form is zero is binary pattern one one zero is a decimal six but in max term complemented form is considered as one complemented is one true form is considered as zero the combining those bit patterns together binary one one zero is six so we are doing reverse inter interpretation given index uh, we can tell which variable a variable is true or which variable is a false form so here is the example of uh, indices and four variable a b c d so given bit pattern you can get the idea which variable is true or false in min term case or for false uh, max term case and we can find uh, the relationship between min term and x term actually they are complement to each other what it means is that if you complement min term you will get max term in the same way if you complement the max term you will get min term so they are complemented to each other that's the relationship between min terms and max terms